For the second year in a row, here in St. Flannan's College, our awards night is an online offering because of the COVID restrictions. We have a number of awards to present in different areas of school life, uh, concluding with our Student of the Year. Hi everyone. Um, on behalf of everyone involved with Football at St. Flannan's College, I'm delighted to present Jim Cahill from Cora Finn and Matthew Reedy from Shannon Gales as our Footballers of the Year for their outstanding contribution to football in the college, not just this year, but for their entire six years um, here. They've been outstanding role models um, since the very first match that we played in the first year against St. Charlotte's, and they've progressed uh, up through all levels in the school. Dermot has played senior for the last four years, and Matthew has played for the last three. During that time, we've won under 15 a college title, contested two under 16 and a half titles, and both lads have, have excelled um, at each grade. Um, the effort, commitment and uh, dedication that the lads have shown throughout their time here has been phenomenal and has been a credit to themselves, to their families and to their clubs. Uh, they really drove on the training sessions that we had in preparation for this year's Corny Burry, which unfortunately was um, postponed due to COVID-19. Um, but the, the lads' efforts and training was relentless from last September to December. Uh, we'd like to thank them for all the special times that they gave to us above at the pitch. Um, we had some great times, good fun, the buses, uh, going to the matches, all of that. Um, and we'd just like to thank them for, for uh, everything that they've done for the college. And uh, we really enjoyed working with them and we had some great victories along the way. And we look forward to watching them excel uh, with their clubs and their county in the years ahead. So lads, well done and thanks a million for everything. I'd like to thank the St. Flannan Senior Football Management for giving me this award, uh, especially Mr. Curtin, uh, Mr. Canole and Mr. Duggan, who have put in a serious amount of work for us over the past six years. Uh, it was a huge disappointment that we didn't get to play our championship this year, but I look back on my time here with a great, great joy. Uh, I'd just like to thank Owen Curtin, John Canole and Benny Duggan for their tremendous work throughout the years. It's been a great pleasure to play with St. Flannan's College down through the years. We've had great memories, great bus journeys to all around the, every, every place. And uh, we've came along as a team and, and just to be, couldn't we couldn't play this year. It's been a great year. Hi everyone. I'm delighted to announce that the St. Flannan's College Senior Ladies Footballer of the Year for 2021 is Amy Russell. From her very first training session, we knew that Amy would be a star for us throughout her time in the college. Her tenacity and will to win were evident in every game. I don't think anyone would disagree when I say that Amy was fearless on the field and definitely there was many opposition players and even referees at times that felt the brunt of this. Amy was a great leader on and off the field and set great example for her fellow players and for the younger players coming up the ranks. Even though Amy plays many sports and has had her fair share of knocks over the years, she always turned up to training and gave it her all. Amy, you should be very proud of your contribution to not alone ladies football, but camogie and school life in general in St. Flannan's College. And you've set a great example for the future. We wish you all the very best and look forward to seeing you continue to line out for your club and county and to all the girls who've played football with us through the years. Thanks for taking part and wishing you all the best in your future. Thank you. I'd like to thank um, Miss Murphy, Mr Brennan, uh, Miss Nicolardi and Mr Ryan for a great few years of football um, at junior and senior and getting us to the Munster finals. Um, I'd also just like to wish the future ladies, um, footballers and Flannans the very best of luck. We have a huge amount of talented athletes in sixth year who have all worn the blue of St Flannans over the last six years and represented our school with great distinction. Three of our athletes, Alva O'Doherty, Luke Griffin and Mark Hanrahan have been chosen to represent Ireland in school events during their time here with us. One student who we feel excelled in both cross country and track events is Mark Hanrahan and that is why we are thrilled to name him as our Athlete of the Year. Throughout his years in St Flannan's, Mark has represented the school with great distinction both in cross country and on the track. 
Since winning a silver All-Ireland medal as a junior boy, he has gone from strength to strength on the track, culminating in selection for the Interprovisional Tantal Games and then selection to represent Ireland in the 3,000 metres in the school's International Athletics Championship in Swansea in 2019. In the same year, Mark was part of the Interboys cross-country team, which won the Irish Life Health All-Ireland Schools Cross-Country Championships, which were held in Clongos. This was a huge achievement for Mark and for the team. The team was then selected to represent Ireland in the World Schools Cross-Country Championships, which were due to be held in Slovakia in 2020, but unfortunately were cancelled due to the pandemic. Ms O'Halloran and I have chosen Mark as Athlete of the Year, not only because of his achievements in cross country and on the track, but also due to his dedication to his sport and the friendship, guidance and support that he has shown to all athletes throughout his time here with us. We know that great things await Mark in the future and we wish him all the best and look forward to hearing about all his future successes. Congratulations, Mark. First off, thank you to Ms O'Halloran and Ms Shannon for choosing me as Athlete of the Year. You've all been very supportive of myself and all the athletes during my six years here. Thank you for always giving us the chance to compete in races and cheering us on all around the country. I also want to say thank you to the inner track coaches who have been central in making St. Flanders as strong as they are today. Pat Hogan, Joe Casey, Marie Roach and my man Ita Hanran have done great work over many years and have allowed us to stay competitive at national and international level. I'm looking forward to seeing St. Flanders Athletics continue to grow and succeed in the years to come. Thank you. Hello everyone. I want to thank the senior volleyball team for all of their achievements, for the many cups and medals they've won over the years, and also I want to congratulate them on their commitment to their training and on their ambition to be the best. And they succeeded in all of this because in 2019 they won the All-Ireland Senior A League and then continued on to beat Northern Ireland in early 2020 uh, before the pandemic hit. So I would like to wish each and every one of the lads, to Killian, to Jack, Jesus, Kaho, Keen, Patrick and Kieran, the very best of luck in the future. In whatever you do, I know you'll succeed. The very best of luck to each and every one of you and take care. Uh, thank you Miss O'Reilly, uh, but of course without our coaches none of this would have been possible. So uh, we are forever indebted to uh, Cormac Byrne, uh, Davna Dwyer and Gabriella for all the hard work and dedication they put into teaching us volleyball um, but also um, they've taught us a lot and we've had a lot of opportunities from the sport such as uh, six of us have played for the national team uh, in various matches uh, against Scotland and Northern Ireland and Cottle Dwyer has been allowed to play for Narbonne Volley for the past year as well in the south of France uh, but what will really stick with us is our All-Ireland Finals, which I thought would never have been possible had I not played volleyball for St. Flannans College. And I really hope that volleyball uh, stays strong in Flannans because it's really done so much to help us in our lives and to our schoolwork uh, and to make friends. And I'm very grateful for that. John Finn. Bavuntor Guelga e Johnny Galosha Lana Nefa Harna Blinta Agasim Lena is more an anordam and Gradam Shah of Runna or Jack Power. Is Guelgor then Kate Scott e Jack, a Lyrian passion Agus Diagrasi let me Guelga. Ta ord kite on Guelga e Jack, Agus Visha de Privle de Gumsa e a Vesaranglum. Tang Gradam Shah Tilta got Jack, Agus Bawalam Gachra a Huyart Satawahi. Gordon Kasarish. Gordon Mahagut. It's more an honor to have Gordon Shaw at all. The Wahlung Week is a goal, the Muntori Galer, the Lynn Mahari Shah on Shah E. Glosh to Flannan Neva, Gahora of Muntori Wilga, Miss Murphy, August Miss Vahan, Voskal Shia on Shvesh on St. Albert Shah, August V. on Cracky Goni, the Green Saram. Gordon Mahagut. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2021 Hurler of the Year is Oshin O'Donnell. So I think it's fair to say that since Oshin has come in here to St. Flannan's College, he's hardly taken the hurley out of his hand. Back in first year, Oshin was awarded the Man of the Match Award in the County First Year Schools Final in Cusie Park, where we had a great game played out between the two St. Flannan's College teams. Oshin has then gone on to represent St. Flannan's College on the 14 level, 15 level, 
Dean Ryan level. But last year, Ushin really came into his own uh, in the Harty Cup campaign, where he put together a string of top class performances, which was topped off by a man of the match performance against St. Kieran's College in the All Ireland quarter final. The same day, Ushin scored four terrific points from play and really led the, led the team to victory. Oshin epitomises everything that was good about the group. He's honest, he's humble, and he's extremely hardworking. But most of all, Oshin has a growth mindset and is constantly willing to learn and grow as an individual and also a hurler. We look forward to seeing Oshin playing for Christine for many years to come and also for County Clare. Well done, Oshin, and congratulations. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Mr. Bugler, Mr. O'Grady, Mr. McCarthy and Mr. Kelly for picking me for this award. Um, it's a huge honour um, since first year. They've brought us on a huge amount and told us all about how important hurling is to the school and um, they believed in us and they showed us how um, vital it is to, for the school to have hurling and we hope it continues throughout the next few years and we wish you the very best of luck in the future. This year, our Musician of the Year award goes to Tierna Casey. An extremely talented fiddle player, Tierna holds two All-Ireland titles at the local Inishog, Coldest Branch, in the Group of Kills and Cayley Band competitions. In more recent years, she has graced us with her traditional haunting voice, for which she holds both Munster and Kjol and Geary titles. Tierna is a real team player in the music department, always encouraging other musicians to do their best and to be at ease. She recently performed as a soloist during their Leaving Cert practical exams. During transition year, Tierna produced a CD documenting the talented singers and musicians in our school at that time. During the last year, we have had very few opportunities for live performance in our school. However, at Christmas, we did hold a virtual carol service in which Tierna performed as a soloist. We wish her all the best in her future musical endeavours. Well done, Tierna. Hi, I'm Tierney Casey. I'd like to thank Mr. Lee for putting me up for this award for Musician of the Year. I'd like to thank her for giving me six great years in the school in music classes. You never know what was going to come up in conversation with her and she always had fun and crack with her in class. I'd also like to thank Mr. Shannon and Miss Bohan for always helping us with music and always encouraging us to do things like track group and the car service and every other thing that we have sang or played for. Good evening everyone. Firstly, on behalf of Ms Lanan, Ms Ryan and I, we would like to say a huge thank you to all the girls leaving that have represented the college in Camogie over the years. But in particular, to Amy, Avian, Leona and Hazel for their commitment and dedication. We hope that you've enjoyed your time and will be gracing the fields again with your club and county very soon. But on to this year's main award. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's Camogie Player of the Year is... Avian Ryan. Several players over the years have shown their willpower in guiding the school to so many wins but it's Avian's camogie ability and her all-round manner that always led by example. We have often had to utilise every ounce of character-filled defiance to get over some teams, and it was Avian who would lead this charge right from the get-go when she entered St. Flannan's. Over the years, she has simply been inspirational in repeatedly frustrating defences with her darting runs, keen eye and deadly finishes. During the Munster final against St. Mary's Nina in 2019, Avian was our main scorer, contributing 1-4 on the day. She has been relentless in her freeze and we were always assured as she stood over every ball, whether that was at junior or senior level. When sometimes Camogie games lacked in scores, it was often made up by determined commitment which Avian brought to the field time and time again. She's been a true leader over the past six years, with so many younger students looking up to her. Avian has captained the school on many occasions and was always able to rally the troops when needed. It's hard to understand when looking in from the outside on any team what winning or losing means to some but Avian would show the emotion that every management and player would thrive off. We have seen the tears and laughter of a player that would leave everything on the field of play, and that's all that anyone could ever ask for. Avian had a seismic influence on the narrative of so many of our games, and when she spoke, everyone listened, and that included us as management. She's a well-opinionated young lady who looked to get the best from every player in every game. She always took to the field with a winning attitude, and this most certainly rubbed off on so many of her school teammates. She has been the school's scorer-in-chief and her improvement in Camogie over the years has been unbelievable to watch. Well done, Avine. We hope that you have a very successful future both on and off the field and you are most definitely deserving of this year's award. 
I'm delighted to get this award. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the teachers who trained us over the years, especially Miss Ryan, Miss Lenana, and Ms. McGann for all their hard work and dedication. I really enjoyed every minute of playing Komogi with the school and I wish them all the best in the future. Our student of the year this year is Alva Doherty. An extremely conscientious, diligent and hard-working student excels academically, socially and in the sporting sphere. She has the singular distinction of being the only girl to have won two senior All-Ireland titles in athletics as a student of St. Flannan's College. It's my great pleasure to recommend Alva as Student of the Year as a student who is so unassuming and dedicated to school life. Congratulations Alva and well done. It is such an honour to receive this prestigious award, especially as I know there are so many others who are equally deserving. I'd like to thank Father McCormack, all my teachers and the staff of St. Flannan's College. I will always be proud of the fine education I received here, and I know I will look back on my years spent in St. Flannan's College with great fondness. Thank you. I'd like to conclude just wishing all our students a happy and a pleasant summer and in particular to our Leaving Cert cohort as you sit your exams and as you get your estimated grades, we wish you well for the future. <laughs>